hello everyone and welcome to my channel so you know today i'll be showing you a few of the basic things that we can do in flutter such as a floating action button and how you can use a drawer in flutter and you know just display your items using uh, list tiles in a list view and let's just see how we go about it also i'll show you how you can use images in flutter i know that's very basic but i just wanted to make a video about all that too uh, you will be using uh, images in flutter and uh, what else let's just see and see where the video goes all right so right now i have this basic app uh, it's just the uh, my app class which has you know which returns us with the material app and for home has a basic scaffold so as you would be expecting or even if you don't know we have nothing over here as of now so what i'll do is i'll just create another class over here I'll create a new directory. Just a second, my laptop. So yeah, I'll just create a new directory uh, by the name of UI, and in that I'll create a new file by the name of homepage dot dot. All right. So in that, I'll first of all import the material dot dot file, and uh, next I'll import. Uh, I mean, I'll you know just make a stateless class by the name of home page which will return us with a scaffold which will have an app bar and then we'll give it an app bar with the title that says uh hey dotingo all right and let's just give this a color as well so i'll use the textile widget and give it a color white all right because i'll be giving a color to my text uh, sorry app bar as well so i'll give it a color red red all right and uh, also let's just place this uh, text text in the center the title in the center so i'll use the center title property of the app bar and set it as true okay now i'll also give this a font size of 20 the default font size in flutter is 14 so just to make the text a little bigger i made it 20 now let's see what else can we do let's see what we have as of now so i'll just use this home page class over here uh, my home page did i name it i just named it home page so i'll call home page over here and let's just see what we have over here so see here we have a very basic app bar with red color that says hey dartingo now uh, you know we can also change the elevation of the app bar set it to zero or reload and see what happens you you know this slight difference but the elevation has gone now also uh, you know let's just see how we can use draw as of now so it's a attribute of the scaffold we define it over here also if you want to know what all attributes a specific widget has just go to that widget press control plus space so here you have it everything that's available with the widget so for drawer i'll pass a drawer okay now the drawer will further have a child so here i'll pass a list view now this list view have will have its own children so for for, for the first of them let's give a list tile all right with a title that says first page all right I'll, I'll explain this later and also give this an icon maybe leading sorry leading for the leading uh, i'll give it an icon of icons dot add all right we can also give it a trailing icon so i mean anything any widget in trailing but let's just give it an icon as of now or let's just give it a flutter logo flutter logo cool so yep that's it and let's just hit hot reload and see what we have so you see uh, the three these three what horizontal lines that came up with the drawer so as soon as i tap on them the drawer opens up and if i tap outside the drawer closes tap again closes and even if i you know just swipe from this side yep yeah, it opens up also uh, you know there's just one more thing i'll show it to you uh, let's just copy paste this all right okay so here we have it and for those of you who are wondering how i did it I just press Control plus D, so it got copy pasted. I'll just call it second page, and let's just have one more of these. Again, Control D, using a comma over here, 
I'll change this icon to let's just say subscriptions and here I'll have a close icon and no trailing also this title is gonna be close the drawer all right and this on tap method of the list style for this list style let's just say it navigate dot pop so that every time I click on it the drawer closes let's just see so here we have a drawer I click on it and the drawer closes pretty cool right so uh, what next yeah you know there's just one more thing that uh, is missing out in this drawer is the user oh sorry under the children so yeah and is this user accounts drawer header I'll show you what it does so I'll just put it over here and for account email I can give a text that says email sorry email under it gmail.com and uh, let's see for account name I'll give it a text such as flutter tutorial it's, it's a basic tutorial I just write basic as well and what else for the current account picture let's give it a picture uh, so currently I just you know randomly copied two pictures four pictures over here in the folder name assets in the root folder and also I you know just made an entry for them in the pubspec.yaml file so here we have it under assets asset slash flutter logo dot png so it's an image file of the flutter logo so I'll just use image dot asset and then the name of this file over here I'll just copy its relative path and paste it over here also let's just make it circular so you see there's this widget for it uh, clip or rec we can also use circle avatar but I really like using this one so we can just give the border radius to it as border radius dot circular and let's just call it 30 and hit hot reload and see as soon as you open the drawer here we have it what usually you have seen in the gmail or in gmail or something uh, so we have the information about the current user over here and also for uh, you you must have also seen this in the play store you know we can also display information about other users uh, using this other accounts picture we need to pass a list of widgets all right so what if i just copy paste this one twice so let's see what happens now so i'll just hit hot reload also i did that using control s so see here we have it pretty cool right so i'll just remove this one as of now and let's just make another page so i'll just head to ui and make a new file uh, with the name next page dot dot so now i'll use a stateful widget over here and call it next page and now i'll show you how we can pass arguments uh, to the to this page while we're you know navigating to it and passing uh, arguments that are required i mean required by this page otherwise uh, it won't navigate to this particular screen so I'll, I'll just show it to you so we create a constructor for this one this is how you create an instructor and to make uh, sure that the previous screen passes a specific argument uh, in the constructor while calling the screen just write this at the rate required all right and now the name of the variable that is title as well as the key and now over here you write super and the attribute key you pass key simply so here we have it now over here i'll show you how we can specifically you know use the title that we have achieved over here so i'll just call scaffold give it a basic app bar you know with a title uh you know how to do this right with a title uh text <laughs> pretty simple and in the body okay i'll give it a center uh, with a child and text now this text is going to be this title so how do we use it so to use it you need to write this dot widget dot title all right so this is how you use it I'll, I'll just show it to you now in your home page okay in this on tap of this list style let's do one thing uh, let's just navigate to the next screen using navigator.push and then you need to pass the context and then root over here so i'll pass material page root builder and then context so this is how you move to a next screen 
okay and then if this is going to return us with next page and over here in title over here in, why is it not coming next page all right cool so over here in title i'll just pass first page so that was it i'll just copy paste this entire thing and paste it in the list style for the second page and instead of first i'll write second so when i hit hot reload open up my app click on first page we move to the next page with the title with you know the text as first page but when i click on second page it gets past second page so there we have it so you see how we even pass arguments you know i'll just show you one more thing instead of this material page route that allows us to go to new screens uh, using the android way we can go to the i mean like navigate to the next screen using the apple way the ios way so instead of material page route we need to write cupertino page root and this file uh, cupertino.dart it gets imported automatically in the specific file homepage.dart so if i hit hot reload please see the transition so if i click over here it gets crawled up from the bottom and if i click on second page it comes up from the right and also one more thing if i just scroll it like this swipe it like this i can just go back to the previous screen so yep this is how uh, it works navigation and this is the difference between material material page route and cupertino page route uh one more thing let me just show you how a floating action button works so for this home page i'll define a floating action button in this skip fold property so i'll just go floating action floating action button all right and then as a child i can pass in a text it says button all right and just an on press method that will do nothing as of now so if i hit hot reload there we have a floating action button that says button okay we can even change its location by using the floating action button location and we'll use floating sorry floating action button location dot center docked if i hit hot reload it comes center docked and if i just change it to center float and hit hot reload it it is now floating and one more thing there's this other type of floating action button that is floating action button dot extended but instead of passing as you know a child over here you need to pass a label so for label i'll pass text and then say button and then for an we can even pass an icon over here so for icon i'll pass icon sorry icon and then icon dot let's say print okay i can like even give it a color let's say since it's going to be blue i'll give it a black color also why i said it's going to be blue because in the main in the uh, in this material app widget uh, under theme we pass theme data with the primary swatch as colors dot blue so that is why uh, the, the button will by default be blue in color so here we have it here we have a floating action button dot extended uh, due to which we had to pass label icon and also it we have given it a location if i just remove this location hit or reload it's gonna go back to the side and we can just even get it back and there's this all sort of floating action button locations available so if you just go back and if you want to see what all are available you can just press ctrl plus space to see the list of available options uh let's see this mini start top i'll hit hot reload and see what we get so really see here we have it you can just give a floating action button of your choice so i'll just remove this one as of now so we have access to the drawer so you know here we saw a floating action button navigating to next screen and drawer obviously and how we could use the constructor of a new screen cupertino page route and yep that was pretty much it and you know in the previous tutorial i show you showed you uh, how uh, we can set up flutter web on our uh, system so since i've already done that if and if you guys want to see it i'll just make the link appear in the top right corner of your screen right now also if i just uh, you know hit the play button hit the run button over here this app is going to run on like chrome as well because uh, since web support is now enabled on your pc you don't need to do anything the app is already done and it's going to be the same for both mobile platforms as well as web browser so 
if you guys want to see just hold on for a second it's going to open up okay so it has opened up and let's just see what we get over here it's going to be the same it's going to be the same so here we have it the type the app bar that says hey dotingo loading action button navigation menu close the drawer second page see it's just that the size is pretty big it's like a complete screen so if i just squeeze it down see it's the same obviously so yep that was pretty much it for this video it was like just a very basic video of uh, how we can use list tiles in the drawer drawer in the skip fold and floating action button how we can set up like use an image and uh, navigating to a new screen keep it in a page or pretty basic stuff i know you guys i didn't know about it but i kind of just wanted to make a video on it so yep here it is so yep that was pretty much it for this video please hit the like button if you found it interesting or helpful in any way also comment down below if you have any questions for this video or any suggestions or feedbacks from me or if you want me to make a video on any specific thing you, you know that's bugging you i'll be happy to do that i know there's a lot of content on flutter that i can cover but still if you guys any, have any suggestions for me i'd be happy to do that and uh, also subscribe to my channel so that you stay tuned for my upcoming videos and obviously that's going to motivate me so yep that was it thank you